Well, welcome to Weekly Wisdom. Uh, our theme today is this, a key for staying alive. A key for staying alive, particularly if you're a king. But I think it applies to all of us. But what's a key for staying alive? Listen to these words from Proverbs chapter 20, verse 28. And if you know the ancient world and, and how things worked for kings, you might be able to start putting the pieces together even as you hear the text. I'll read it twice so you really get it, let it sink in. Love and faithfulness keep a king safe. Through love, his throne is made secure. That, that, that's a little bit about, for, through love, his, his throne is made secure. It can be about a generational thing, but it also, also means that he can keep himself on the throne and not being dethroned or potentially executed. Listen to the passage again. Love and faithfulness keep a king safe. Through love, his throne is made secure. Well, what's going on here? In the ancient world, and even in some places in the world today, people in authority, kings in authority, people who are rulers, sometimes can be taken off their throne or out of their place of authority by family members and friends. And oftentimes through history, the way that was done was through assassination. You say, that's dark, that's ancient. Well, it's not as ancient as you might think if you study what's happening all over the world. And there's places that are still uh, very, very brutal and very challenging. But, but here, listen to these words. How does a king stay safe? How does a king keep his throne secure? Here's the two words, love and faithfulness. It's hard for people to execute you if you love them and they love you. It's hard for people to depose you, to dethrone you, to knock you down if you're loving to them, if you're faithful to them, and if they love and care about you. And sometimes when people are in places of authority in business, in education, in the military, in any, you can be in a place of authority where all of a sudden you think you rule, you reign, and you are over others, and because of the position you're in and that they're in, you press down on them and you don't show them dignity, love, and show faithfulness as a person to them. And that's the kind of leader that can be dethroned, deposed, driven out. And so check your heart in your relational world. Do people look at you and say, you know, he is loving and faithful in his relationships. She is gracious, loving, kind, and faithful. And if you're that kind of a person, that's one way you can stay alive. <laughs> stay alive, maybe literally, probably not that, but stay alive relationally. Stay in your work. Stay providing for your family. If the people you have influence over look at you and say, I am loved by that person, and that person has been faithful to me, it can impact how they treat you. Let's pray together. God, we don't live in the ancient world with uh, the things people faced before you came, Jesus, in the ancient world that Proverbs was written, but there's still principles here to teach us. So we ask in any place where we are in authority, when we have uh, influence, where we might be tempted to push others down and muscle up, may we in the midst of leadership and influence show deep love and steadfast faithfulness and kindness to others. And let that in turn come back around to how they treat us. Lord, speak to us through your wisdom this day, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for joining us. If you're part of a local church other than Shoreline Church, get engaged in your church. Have a great Sunday this coming up Sunday and be part of the family of God. If you're part of Shoreline, services at 9 and 11 online on campus. We'll hope to see you there.